Kim Ju-ai, the 10-year-old daughter of North Korea's supreme leader Kim Jong-un, has had an unusual life. Unlike most youngsters, her daily life revolves around supervising nuclear testing and parades, foreshadowing her eventual role as the country's dictator. Despite her elementary school age, she is already being prepared for succession. Let's take a look into the sick life of Kim Jong-un's daughter. Number 1. Kim Ju-ai Who is Kim Ju-ai? For years, North Korea's secretive state media remained silent on Kim Jong-un's family, especially his children. However, information obtained by South Korea's spy service indicates that Kim Jong-un and his wife have three children. The shroud of secrecy around Kim Jong-un's family life was partially lifted in an unexpected way when former NBA star Dennis Rodman revealed important information. During his 2013 journey to North Korea, Rodman revealed that he got the opportunity to meet Kim Jong-un's baby daughter, Ju Aa. During his visit, Rodman described Kim Jong-un as a good dad while holding their daughter, Ju Aa. This disclosure provided a rare peek into the North Korean leader's personal life, shedding light on the composition of his family. Number 2. Her Real Name Kim Ju Aa sounds like a good name, right? Did you know that it literally means beloved daughter in Korean? Yes, it is right. But here's the thing. It isn't her true name. Nope. Her actual name is Kim Ojoon. But guess what? People adore her so much that they gave her the nickname Kim Yue, which she now goes by everywhere, including in the media. You might be wondering why her father didn't correct everyone and inform them of her genuine name. Well, here's the scoop. Her father also enjoys the nickname. He feels it's incredibly special and doesn't want to ruin the surprise by telling everyone her real name. How cool is that? So let's break it down a little. Kim Yue's original name is Kim Ojun, but everyone refers to her as Kim Yue, which means beloved daughter in Korean. And despite the fact that it is not her actual name, her father adores it and refuses to correct anyone. Imagine having a nickname that everyone recognizes, even if it is not your true name. That's pretty cool, right? It only goes to show how much people adore and admire Kim Yue. She must be a very remarkable person to have such an awesome nickname. And what's even cooler, the media also refers to her as Kim Yue. That's correct. She's renowned enough that the press uses her moniker. It's as if she were a rock star. Number 3. Family Life According to rumors, Kim Jong-un and his wife have three children. One of them is Kim Jue, the middle child who is 10 years old. Now, what's really interesting is that despite being a girl and younger than her brother, Kim Jong-un has chosen her to lead the country someday. That's unusual, right? In contrast to monarchies, North Korea does not have an automatic succession system. It's based on who the parents believe is best suited for the position. Kim Jong-un sees in his daughter a level of ruthlessness and professionalism that his other children appear to lack. Talk about challenging gender preconceptions. Prior to this disclosure, little was known about Kim Jong-un's family, with the exception of his wife, Ri, and daughter, Kim ju -ae. But guess what? The National Intelligence Service in Seoul later reported that Kim had an older kid, a boy born in 2010. So, while it is proven that the girl next to Kim Jong-un is his second kid, the intelligence agency noted that Ju A appears to be bigger and taller than the normal 10-year-old. Hmm, makes you wonder what other surprises this family has planned, doesn't it? Number 4. Home Kim Ju A and her parents live in ultimate luxury in North Korea, a country where poverty is rampant. Their living conditions go beyond conventional luxury, as they live in not only Pyongyang's formal presidential palace, but also a number of luxurious estates throughout the country. Among these houses is a spectacular residence on North Korea's east coast, complete with an assortment of expensive facilities. This seaside house exemplifies the Kim family's unrivaled riches and power. The property includes large houses, a well-kept horse racing track, a gorgeous tennis court, and a magnificent golf course. Satellite imagery provides a view into the grandeur of their surroundings showcasing finely groomed gardens and well-maintained facilities. At the heart of this beachfront getaway is the Kim family's prized jewel, a magnificent 50-meter luxury yacht. This yacht, the only one of its sort in North Korea, symbolizes their wealth and luxurious lifestyle. The yacht, 
docked in a private harbor close to the estate, provides the Kims with a level of leisure and enjoyment that is unsurpassed in the poor country. But the opulence does not stop there. The coastal residence also has its own private beach, providing the Kims with a unique refuge where they can relax and enjoy the tranquility of the ocean. This quiet stretch of beach offers a rare sanctuary away from the prying eyes of the outer world, allowing the family to enjoy the splendor of their surroundings in complete seclusion. The affluent lifestyle enjoyed by Kim Yue and her family stands in stark contrast to the terrible realities endured by the bulk of North Korea's population. While many residents struggle to meet their basic necessities, the Kims have all they need and are surrounded by luxury and extravagance at all times. Number 5. The Future Monarch's Hobbies During a confidential session of a parliamentary committee, the National Intelligence Service of South Korea reaffirmed its assessment of Kim Joo Ai, Kim Jong Un's daughter. According to information relayed by lawmaker Yu, the National Intelligence Service informed committee members that Kim Joo Ai is not enrolled in any formal educational institution and is instead homeschooled in Pyongyang. The spy service revealed that Kim Joo Ai's interests include horseback riding, skiing, and swimming indicating a wide range of recreational activities. She likes Russian Orlov trotters, a rare and aristocratic breed brought from Russia. Furthermore, the National Intelligence Service stated that Kim Ju Ai has great horseback riding skills, which have been approved by her father. She also visits her father's posh resort, where she can ski in style and comfort. Despite the absence of traditional schooling, Kim Ju Ai's educational growth looks to be well supported by homeschooling circumstances. This technique enables specialized instruction and personalized learning experiences, ensuring that she receives a full education despite not attending a typical school. The revelation of Kim Ju Ai's hobbies provides insight into her interests and leisure activities. Horseback riding, in particular, emerges as a strong love, with the NIS recognizing her outstanding talent in this field. This skill is most likely the result of serious training and a natural aptitude for equestrian hobbies. Furthermore, the National Intelligence Service's confirmation of Kim Jong-un's delight with his daughter's equestrian riding skills emphasizes the importance of familial approbation and support among North Korean leaders. Kim Joo-ai's accomplishments in this area are likely to add to her sense of accomplishment and fulfillment, reinforcing her dedication to her chosen hobbies. In addition to horseback riding, Kim Ju Ai participates in skiing and swimming, indicating a well-rounded approach to physical health and recreational activities. These activities not only improve physical health, but also build a spirit of adventure and exploration, which enhances her entire lifestyle and personal growth. The National Intelligence Service's insights on Kim Ju Ai's scholastic and recreational hobbies provide a glimpse into the private lives of North Korea's ruling family. Despite the regime's secrecy, Information regarding Kim Ju Ai's interests and activities sheds light on her personality and upbringing. Number 6. Events and Appearances Kim Ju Ai's life is nothing short of spectacular, marked not only by its wealth, but also by her frequent public appearances. As the daughter of North Korean leader Kim Jong Un, she holds a unique place in the country's political scene, frequently appearing at high profile events and military parades as a symbol of her future rule. Her father, Kim Jong-un, has intentionally included her in many propaganda events, portraying her as a possible successor and future leader of the isolated nation. One such event was a big military parade in Pyongyang, where Kim Ju ai and her father took center stage, fueling concerns about her political future. The parade commemorated the 75th anniversary of the creation of North Korea's army, and showcased the country's most recent military hardware, including perhaps new intercontinental ballistic missiles. Kim Jong-un's decision to highlight his daughter at such an important ceremony demonstrated his desire to prepare her for a leadership role and establish her presence in the public mind. Kim Ju Ai's perceived prominence has been further reinforced by state media, which has described her as respected and beloved. A photo from the event showed her sitting in the seat of honor at a meal, flanked by high-ranking military officers and her parents, confirming her heightened status inside the regime. The perfectly organized parade demonstrated Kim Jong-un's leadership and military capability, 
highlighting his intention to maintain North Korea's reputation as a nuclear state despite international sanctions and diplomatic pressure. The appearance of Kim Ju ai with her father at such a watershed moment highlighted her critical role in the regime's leadership succession plans. North Korean official television images captured the grandeur of the event, showing Kim Jong-un arriving at the parade in a limousine with his wife and daughter, dressed in a black coat and hat. The family received thundering cheers from thousands of military and spectators gathered in Kim Il-sung Square, a historic location named after the nation's founder. As the march progressed, Kim Jong-un proudly linked hands with his daughter, signaling her prominence and placing her in a key role in the regime's power hierarchy. The family's presence on a leather couch, flanked by top officials, demonstrated their status as North Korea's ruling elite. The spectacle continued as thousands of goose-stepping soldiers marched through the area, screaming slogans celebrating the Kim family's history and heritage. A ceremonial cavalry regiment riding white horses symbolizing the dynasty's authority further reinforced Kim ju ais symbolic importance inside the state. The parade culminated with the unveiling of Kim Jong-un's nuclear weapons, a powerful display of military force and defiance against perceived external threats. Kim ju ais presence alongside her father at this watershed moment emphasized her critical role in the regime's leadership succession plans and foreshadowed her future rise to power. Number 7. Security and Privacy Kim ju ai follows a tight set of norms, the most notable of which is her limited social circle. This deliberate restriction serves several critical purposes, including maintaining her steadfast loyalty to the regime, limiting potential security threats, and restricting the spread of any damaging information that could harm the North Korean government or ruling family. As the Supreme Leader's daughter, Kim ju ais relationships are painstakingly monitored and closely supervised, giving her little room to form acquaintances beyond her assigned circle. The complete prohibition of communication with people from other countries is a major feature of this restricted social network, consistent with North Korea's isolationist posture aimed at minimizing external effects. Foreign associations are viewed as potential dangers to stability because they may involve the exchange of sensitive information or exposure to foreign beliefs that contradict the accepted worldview in North Korea. Furthermore, Kim ju ais female associates are closely monitored to avoid the creation of close relationships that could jeopardize her devotion to her father and the government. In addition to these steps, Kim ju ai is required to preserve a sense of mystery and separation from the general public. This deliberate seclusion fosters the idea of the ruling family as enigmatic and unapproachable people, hence strengthening the regime's personality cult. As a result, her limited social interactions not only ensure her compliance with official directives, but also add to the mystique surrounding the Kim family. Number 8. Successor the National Intelligence Service released a study that suggests that Ju Ai is seen as the most likely successor to Kim Jong-un, North Korea's current leader. This judgment is based on a number of variables, including Ju Ai's greater attendance at public events, the level of respect she receives, and the public's reaction. However, the analysis emphasizes the presence of multiple variables that could alter this projection, namely Kim Jong-un's apparent youth and lack of severe health difficulties. Despite these factors, a senior South Korean official said that Ju A was a strong candidate to succeed Kim, citing the significance of her first public appearance. South Korea's unification minister Kim Young-ho reiterated this sentiment, emphasizing that Ju A's early involvement in significant public posts shows that she could become North Korea's leader. Given the historical backdrop of North Korean leadership, this theory concerning Ju Ai's prospective succession is worth considering. The Kim family has ruled North Korea since 1948, with Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-un's grandfather, acting as the country's first supreme commander. Despite frequent elections in North Korea since 1999, these local elections do not influence the national leadership, which is chosen through legislative procedures. As a result, the Kim family's influence over North Korean politics has endured for generations, with commentators such as James Fretwell emphasizing the patriarchal and Kim-centric structure of North Korean culture. According to Fretwell, 
It would be unusual for someone outside the Kim family to rise to leadership in such a situation. The debate around Zhu Ai's prospective succession has heated up after her first public appearance on November 2022. Zhu Ai, who was apparently only 10 years old, attracted a lot of attention when she went with her father to see a long-range missile test launch. This event triggered significant conjecture and debate regarding Zhu Ai's future involvement in North Korean politics, with watchers closely watching her every public appearance for indications about her political future. Despite the discussion, Zhu Ai's prospective successor remains highly unknown. The National Intelligence Service assessment acknowledges the complexities of North Korean politics and the numerous elements that may affect future leadership decisions. Kim Jong-un's leadership style, personal preferences, and the dynamics of the governing elite are all important factors that may influence the succession process. Furthermore, the North Korean regime's tendency for secrecy and opacity makes accurately anticipating future developments even more difficult. Ju A's gender plays an important part in North Korean politics. While North Korea is a male-dominated country with a great emphasis on the Kim family's male bloodline, the prospect of a female leader is a considerable change from the convention. If Ju Ai eventually takes over leadership, it would be a historic move in North Korean politics, challenging existing views of leadership succession in the country. Number 9. Center of Attention and Propaganda Ju Ai's involvement in North Korean propaganda is critical to establishing the regime's legitimacy and maintaining the Kim family's personality cult. As a member of the reigning dynasty, her image is carefully nurtured and used to elicit feelings of devotion, admiration, and veneration from the people. In North Korea, propaganda is essential for molding popular perceptions and preserving political control. The dictatorship uses a variety of outlets, including state-controlled media, public demonstrations, and cultural events, to spread its ideological message and maintain the Kim family's power. Ju A's participation in propaganda materials helps to humanize the leadership by portraying them as caring and familial rather than just powerful characters. Ju A's involvement in propaganda serves primarily to convey a sense of continuity and stability within the administration. By displaying her beside her father, Kim Jong-un, and other Kim family members, the dictatorship reinforces the narrative of dynastic succession and sustains the concept of divine right to rule. Number 10. Arranged Marriage Ju A's future marriage possibilities as the daughter of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un are the subject of both internal and international speculation and scrutiny. Marriage is both a personal and political concern in North Korean society, particularly among members of the governing elite. Ju Ai's future marriage will most likely be meticulously planned to fulfill the regime's goals, with factors ranging from diplomatic connections to the preservation of the Kim family lineage. One possible facet of Ju Ai's future marriage prospects is diplomatic considerations. Given North Korea's geopolitical isolation and difficult relations with many countries, her marriage could help to forge or strengthen diplomatic relationships with international powers. A marriage alliance with a significant political figure from another country might potentially open up channels of communication and collaboration, giving North Korea a strategic edge in international affairs. Furthermore, Ju Ai's marriage could serve to strengthen relationships among North Korea's ruling elite. Marrying into another powerful family or uniting with major political factions might enhance Kim Jong-un's hold on power and keep the country stable in the face of potential threats or succession issues. Marriage alliances are critical in North Korea's dynastic system for consolidating power and keeping the ruling class together. Additionally, Ju A's marriage prospects may be influenced by concerns about preserving the Kim family lineage. As a member of the governing dynasty, her marriage would most certainly be scrutinized for its ability to produce offspring capable of carrying on the family's leadership tradition. Ensuring the succession of a new generation of Kim family members is critical to the regime's stability and survival, as it sustains the narrative of dynastic leadership and maintains the Kim family's personality cult. However, Ju Ai's search for a good partner will most certainly be complicated. The regime must weigh political expediency against personal compatibility and the possibility of familial unity. Furthermore, 
The secrecy surrounding North Korean politics means that information about potential suitors and marriage plans is highly guarded and sheltered from public scrutiny and external observation.